there are a lot, and I do mean a lot, of artificial intelligence solutions available these days. But what's the best way to take your podcast episode and turn it into a long form blog post that's SEO friendly? Well, in this video, I'm gonna reveal a new tool that I just discovered a couple of weeks ago that allows you to do that in minutes. Let's face it, if you had to create a blog post from your podcast episode, even if you transcribed the episode and tried to turn it into somewhat of a legible blog post, would be an absolute time suck. It would take you more time to do it and probably wouldn't be that sustainable in the long run. But with tools like AI and artificial intelligence and chat GPT and the other thousands of tools that have shown up literally overnight, it makes that job just that much easier. A couple of weeks back, I discovered the platform content at scale.ai developed by a few friends of mine that were already in the long form content game. They just leveraged artificial intelligence to take their expertise and technology and will create a platform that in my opinion is fantastic. I'm gonna share my screen in just a minute here and show you how it all works. But remember, it doesn't matter what AI tool you're utilizing, just make sure that it's saving you time and don't forget, it's not gonna replace a human being, it's just a tool to maybe help the entire process of creating or brainstorming or whatever you're looking to do just that much easier. Let's go take a look at my screen and check out content at scale. First thing you wanna do is head over to content at scale.ai. There is a link below in the description of this video to make your life a little bit easier. Yes, it is my affiliate link because, well, that's what YouTube creators do. That doesn't change anything for you, just makes it easy for you to access the platform by including a link here in the description of this video. So click on that link and type in your work email address and first name, click request invite, go to your inbox, look for the email from content at scale. There'll be a link in there for you to set up your username and password and to be able to log in that app, that link will be app.contentatscale.ai. Once you're logged in, you'll see a dashboard that looks something like this and you're going to go create a project. So the platform is very easy to use. You wanna create a project first and foremost, and then you're gonna add content for that project. So first things first, click create project. Wherever the blog post is going to live is where you're going to want to add the name of the project and also the project URL. So in this case, it's gonna be on the podcast launchlab.com website. Uh, the project context, strongly recommended that you give the software some context about the podcast episode and about the blog post so that they can create it as intelligently as possible. Uh, and this, I put, this is a podcast episode about how to leverage AI for long form SEO friendly content and blog post for your website. I want one monthly post. My target audience is gonna be business owners, marketers and entrepreneurs. The tone of voice is going to be authoritative. I think that's a fit for blog posts because you wanna sound like you know what you're talking about. The language is English in this case and the word count is two to 3000 words, which is the default and standard. So I'm gonna go ahead and click create project. And as soon as I do that, it's going to bring, oh, project already exists, of course. It's gonna bring me here to the Podcast Launch Lab project, and then I'm gonna get in here and I'm going to add content. Now, what type of content am I going to include on this? Well, it says from a keyword, from an existing blog post URL, from a YouTube video, from a podcast episode, from a custom audio file. So you can upload the audio file if you wanted to, use a link from YouTube, existing blog posts elsewhere, or utilize a keyword. In this case, I'm using from a podcast episode, and it's going to ask me what the iTunes URL of that is. So I'm gonna simply pull up Apple Podcast on my computer, or you can use your phone either way. And I'm going to type in beyond the story podcast, which is my podcast, and there it is, and then I'm going to go find the episode right here, and I'm going to click these three little dots, copy link, I'm going to go back to content.ai, and I'm going to click paste and then create content now. 
So right now, I've got one pod post that's in the queue from that podcast episode. And we'll tune back in and see exactly what that produced. Okay, we're back in the project section of the dashboard and the platform takes a minute to generate the blog post, a few minutes, nothing crazy. They wanna make sure that, well, you're getting the best quality output as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the project that I created here, leveraging AI SEO blog writing for podcast content success. I'm gonna click on it, it says that it's 2,923 words. And as you can see, uh, there's an optimized or on the right-hand side. It lets you know what the title is going to be. You can update the title, the URL sl slug, which is the end part of the URL for the blog post. Your optimization score, as you can see here, 75 out of 100, not bad. While I don't know a ton about the scoring system, I know that we're pretty close to 100 on here for the first time trying this out. I'll take it. Now, in addition to that, it tells you, based on the color of things, yellow, green, or red, uh, what things that may be hindering the post on here. So if you go to your checklist and the next option here, it tells you all of the things that have gotten a green check and then four things that have gotten a red X, primary keyword twice in the first four paragraphs, primary keyword after last subheading, period at the end of long list items, and paragraphs are three sentences or less. These are things that can be easily edited and changed, especially these last two things, and of course, going in here and identifying which uh, keyword was used repetitively in the first four paragraphs and what primary keyword is used after the last subheading on here. There's also a notes area uh, where you can add notes based on the post. Got research information here, view original brief and rerun, uh, additional media that you could add to the post if you chose to do that, added an image and then the history of any of the changes that are made. But as you can see, pretty turnkey on here. If this score was exactly where you would want it and got all the checks and, 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 and pluses on going through and making sure this was as accurate as possible, this blog post would be good to go. You can simply just click select all, copy, and then go ahead and post it on your blog on your website, which is what I'm going to do as soon as I'm done with this video on here. So this is just a brief, very brand new platform to me and I'm sure to you seeing it for the first time, but they've had a wild amount of success since they launched and for good reason because the folks at Content at Scale really understand copywriting, long form content, et cetera. And with the combination of AI makes it just that much easier. Well, as you can see, artificial intelligence doesn't have to be that scary now, does it? And well, artificial intelligence tools do exist outside of chat GPT, which everyone is like, what in the world is this and where did it come from? I read something a few weeks ago that um, I think there were 1100 artificial intelligence softwares launched in the first quarter of 2023. So you can imagine, and for good reason, they do make life easier and they are great tools, but this is a great one to take your podcast episodes and create a long form blog post that will get traction the way that Google likes blog posts to be formatted as well. Well, I hope you're leaving this video knowing at least one or two things that you did not know about turning your podcast episodes into long form content by leveraging tools like content at scale. Questions about this video or any other videos on this channel, please leave a comment below. I do respond to each and every one of you lovely people. Until next time.